Yo, in this tutorial, we're going to be extracting an AES. Um, the game we're going to be extracting from is Fortnite, so we're going to, we need the Fortnite win shipping. But first of all, you're going to want this um, .bash file. This is the only thing that you're going to need for this video. So um, go ahead and download this. I'll give you a second to download it. Okay, perfect. Now, you want to go ahead and open File Explorer. Type C colon, press enter. You'll be here with your users and your program files. Click double click program files, Epic Games, whatever Epic Game, and then it'll say the name of the game, game. And then binaries, not content, but binaries win64. And there'll be a bunch of DLLs, a crap ton of DLLs. We do not need any of the DLLs. The one we need is the shipping the win 64 shipping or win shipping um whatever it is it'll say the the name of the game and then shipping and it'll be a dot exe and usually it'll have the icon of the game and as you'll notice there's multiple shipping exes you're gonna want the one that's the uh like biggest so this one's 250 thousand kilobytes this one's only seven hundred thousand five hundred so you want the biggest one now what you want to do once you have this open leave this open i'm just going to minimize this real quick once you have this uh downloaded run it so open this it should pop up for a few seconds um it shouldn't take any more than a minute and these will instantly pop up on your desktop also i recommend having this on your desktop so that these pop up on your desktop so um you can use uh because these are zips you can use uh 7z or winrar i'm just uh, using winrar so i'm going to extract this so i'm going to get this folder i'm going to extract this and i'm going to get this folder okay now you can delete these and you can even delete this but i'm not going to delete that because i need that for later uh but you don't so you're going to get steamless and aes key finder aes.key.finder so um First of all, you're going to want to open up Steamless. And what Steamless does is it gets rid of a DRM. The DRM basically restricts access to the AES from the, um, from the wind shipping. So you're going to want to open up Steamless. And you want to check if, this, if your EXE has a DRM. So drag... Hold on, let me make sure this is the right one. Yep, drag this onto here. And it should do that. Or you can just click this button and then find your way. Anyways, uh, don't mess with any of this and click unpack file. Now, if it unpacks it, then um, I think it should go in here in this like directory. So you want to um, take it and uh, move it over here to the Steamless thing and um, wait for further instruction. If it says failed to unpack file, that means it doesn't have a DRM. It does not have a restriction. You can close this. You can delete Steamless. But if it does have a DRM and it does unpack and you moved it into this folder, then uh, we don't really need this anymore. You can minimize that or delete it, but or you can close it, my bad. Uh, but I'm just going to minimize it because I need that later because this one doesn't have a DRM. So now we want to open AES key finder and we'll see this. Now, if it did have a DRM and you did put it in here, drag it over into here. But if it didn't have a DRM and, um, you know, you weren't output anything, just grab the DRM list one, uh, control C and control V to copy paste it into here. And now we have two files in here. We don't really have a use for this anymore. So we can close that. And because mine didn't have a DRM, we don't even need seamless anymore. So AES key finder, um, there's going to be a bunch of this stuff. You don't really need most of this. But uh, don't delete anything. So um, open this file, run find, whatever. And it'll say, no Steam sub DMR detected. Good. Um, so hit enter to return to continue scanning. Just press enter. And you might want to click it and then enter. Enter. Yep. Okay. And again, click enter. And as soon as it says finding in your game winshipping.exe, 
possible AES key found. Now, when when it's going through this list, um, and you'll also notice that it created a new folder. We're going to be needing that folder in a minute. But um, while it's going, like making these lists, um, what do you call it? Yeah, it'll do that. It'll like put this again. Um, that doesn't mean it ha has ended. It's still going to continue to do. And it should take, um, if, if you have like 8 gigs of RAM, it should only take about a minute. Um, normally when I do this, it takes about a minute. Nothing more than that, really. Uh, but yeah. And there we go. Press any key to continue. Found all the AS keys found. So press enter. And if it closes, you're good. So this folder is where everything was being dumped into. So you want to open it and you'll get all this garbage, all this mess. And basically, these are just randomized file names. None of this matters. This is not the AS key. Inside these folders is the AS key. And inside this, is nothing this what is inside of this file actually i kind of want to hold on i want to see what this is in uh, i want to see what this is in hex okay so it it quite literally is literal garbage there's nothing in these um in these files here and they're just files they're not even like extended so um this is the actual AES key right here. This right here, this 32 bit or 32 character long thing. So um just rename, copy, open a new notepad, and paste all of them. So rename, copy, paste, rename, copy, paste. Go through the entire list. Rename, copy, paste. Rename, copy, paste, which is Control Z, Control V, by the way. If you didn't know, um, Control V. Now, uh, an immediate way you can tell if an AES key is bad is if it has a bunch of zeros at the beginning. See these with a lot of zeros at the beginning, um, and they're not re they're really repetitive zero 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 zero. Um, those are usually not good. So this one doesn't have a lot of zeros, and this one does not have a lot of zeros. So you should probably try these before you try the rest. Um, so these would be examples of pretty much, ba I guess, bad AES keys. But you should probably try these ones first with a bunch of random ones um, that aren't repetitive. But uh, yeah, one of these will be the AES key for the um, game that you're running. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.